بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس پرو یوزرز دس از دا تھرڈ اینڈ لاسٹ ٹوٹوریل ان اے سیریز آف ٹوٹوریلس ڈیمانسٹریٹنگ ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ لاگ ان اپلیکیشن دا کانٹینٹس آف دس ٹوٹوریل آر ایڈ ایکسٹرنل ڈکشنری ایڈ این ادر لینگویج ادر دین انگلش رائٹ ٹیکسٹ فائل ٹو گیٹ ورژن انفارمیشن سیٹ ویلیو لیبل فار ملٹی لینگویجز رائٹ کوڈ ٹو اتھینٹیکیٹ لاگ ان انفارمیشن رائٹ کیپی کوشچنس اینڈ ایٹ دا اینڈ وی ول ٹیسٹ دا اپلیکیشن فرسٹ ٹو ایڈ دا ایکسٹرنل ڈکشنری کلک آن دا سی ایس پرو آئیکون آن دا ڈیسک ٹاپ کلک آن ادر فائلس اف یو آر ناٹ ان یور اپلیکیشن فولڈر دین نیویگیٹ دا فولڈر ون زیرو ون انڈر اسکور لاگ ان سلیکٹ یور اپلیکیشن فائل پریس اوپن بٹن First, we are going to add external dictionary, username, password. Go to the dictionary tab by clicking on the tab at the bottom of the tree. Right now, we don't have external dictionary in this tree. Select file from the main menu and then click on add file. To add external dictionary in your login application, click on the ellipsis menu on the right side of the screen navigate the folder 102_ext_dic select the external dictionary and press save button and then press okay button external dictionary has been added in your application successfully save your application and now we will define language from the capi menu select capi languages The CAPI languages dialog box will be displayed. CS Pro is using the English language as the default. You can add, remove or modify your application's CAPI languages. We are going to add Urdu language as another language. Name must be unique and cannot contain spaces. Press OK to continue. We are going to add two value sets in English and Urdu for designation item. Supervisor and enumerator click on the dictionary tab select the item to which you wish to add a value set to in our case we will select designation right click on the blank space to get the pop-up menu and select add value set or simply press ctrl a provide the label and name for the value set first we are going to create value sets in english Rename value set name to identify that these value sets are for English language. Press Ctrl A again to add value set under designation underscore VS1 underscore EN. VS stand for value set. Now create value labels for Urdu language. There are two ways. One, right click on the blank space to get the pop-up menu and select add value set or press ctrl a and second one is just copy first value set and paste after last value label a message window will be pop up select option after now rename value set name as designation underscore vs1 underscore ur Now we will type all the value labels in Urdu. The values will be the same. Value labels are set for both languages. If we run our application at this stage, the value sets will be displayed in English. Please understand that the language sequence in CAPI languages is English and then Urdu. But if you want value labels in Urdu at runtime or any other language which you have defined in CAPI languages, then we need to write a code. Before start coding, first we need to understand the forms tree. The forms tree has the following items. Form file. This is the highest level node, the root node. It is the owner of all code. Level. This is the second tier tree node. It has a one-to-one -one correspondence with the same named dictionary level. Form. This is the third tier tree node. It represents the form and all the items in that form. Field. This is the lowest accessible level. It has a one-to-one -one correspondence with the dictionary item. Please don't worry. We will discuss all about this during our code writing. 
we will start coding from second tier node login underscore app underscore level we will set urdu language at the starting of the application instead of english it means that we will write code on second tier node select login underscore app underscore level and then click on logic icon from the toolbar the preprog statement declares that the statements following it are executed at the beginning level set language function in the second line will set the language as urdu instead of english ur language name come from capi languages window if you run the application we will not see any changes at this stage we need few more lines to accomplish the result on the next line we will give the global function name on change language it is not case sensitive but you cannot rename global function name currently we are working in the second tier tree node now we are moving the highest level node the root node click on the login underscore app underscore ff to write code we will write function statement below the proc global start with the word function and then give your function name which we have declared in second tier tree node to save time i have already done the coding now we will develop a better understanding when we say that set language as urdu and call the global function then code under the if statement will be skipped and else if statement will be run because our instructions are for urdu we are using this statement twice to understand this run the application click on the run icon from the icon toolbar source type will be none press ok to continue before pop up this form this code will be run and when you get focus on designation item the value label will be set in urdu now you want to change language from urdu to english during the interview or data entry then click on options from the menu and select change language from the language option window select english and press check icon to continue under global function on change language the if statement for english will run and else if will be skipped because the first condition under the if statement is true whenever you change your language during the interview or data entry this statement will not run we have three different type of dummy variables these variable names are not case sensitive preload underscore data is a string variable and we can save any type of characters in this variable but we cannot use this variable for any calculation find result is a numeric variable and we can store only number app version is a file handle variable through this we will read the file and get the application version information into app underscore version item to save time i have already done the coding for the application version in app underscore version item click on app underscore version to understand the coding the code will be start with preprog statement find result is a numeric variable which we have created in global if version dot text file exists in the given path then the value value will be one in find result otherwise zero when we run the application first time the result will be zero because version dot text file does not exist in the given path in this case this code will be skipped and this code will be run to understand now we will review the code in detail that is line by line we will set the value 0.01 .01 in app underscore version the dollar sign is a short way to referring to an item if used within that items procedure in this case dollar is referring to app underscore version on the second line we are creating blank text file with the name of version dot text and associating this file with file handler app version Please keep in your mind that we cannot read or write without file handler. On the other line, we are going to assign 
version information and application information as as a string in preload data variable on the fourth line we are writing the data from preload data into text file version dot text through file handler app version and at the end we will close the text file version dot text through file handler before running the application we will protect the app underscore version item right click on the app underscore version and select field property check the option protected and press ok key now we will run the application to see the result click on the run icon from the icon toolbar source type will be none press ok to continue when we run the application the version dot text file does not exist in the 103 underscore ext underscore data folder enter a value in login identification and press next or enter key the version file has been created now close your application and go to on the logic window if you run the application again the value in find result variable will be one because version dot text file exists now based on this result the if condition will be true and these lines of code will be run however these lines of code will not run if else condition is false on the second line we will set the file with the file handler because now we have version dot text file on the third line we start loop to read the file why we why we are using loop because we can have more than one line in version dot text file on the fifth line we get the version number from the position one and get the four characters and convert into numbers and display in app underscore version item open your text file and add one more line for version 0.02 and save your file now run your application and enter any value in login identification and press enter or next key you can see the version information is 0.02 because we get the information through while loop to save time i have already done the coding for login authentication click on login underscore app underscore id to examine the code in the first step we will examine these lines of code press minus to collapse this section the login app id item contains the login id 1510 that has been entered the value of the login app id needs to be given to the external file or lookup file please keep in your mind external file and lookup file is same after this assignment username password contains the value entered for login app id the load case function search the external file for the value contained in username password the parameters for the load case function are external dictionary name and item list the name of the dictionary is describing the external file an item list containing the id items of the external file if 1510 id does not exist then else condition will be true otherwise this section will be run get os is equal to 20 mean android device get os is equal to 10 mean laptop or desktop if the application is running on android then device id will be checked with external file if the application is running on desktop or laptop then the application will not check the device id why we are using dictionary name with device id because we are using device id as a item name in main dictionary and external dictionary when we have same name then we use dictionary name with item name if the application is running on the android then after confirmation of user id this line of code will confirm device id from the external file if device id and login id match then these lines of code will run otherwise else condition will be true and you will get the error message on your screen
add capy question click on the login underscore app underscore id and then click on capy questions icon from the toolbar there are two screens one for english questions and the other one is for urdu questions capy questions are set for login underscore app underscore id now set capy question for password fields are used to customize question text based on respondents specific characteristics this is done by embedding cs pro logic expressions into the text and surrounding them with pairs of tilde characters click on the run icon from the icon toolbar source type for input data will be none select your username password file from the 103 underscore ext underscore data folder app version will be blank press ok to continue enter 1510 login id and press enter the load case function then searches the file for the value contained in username password login id 1510 is found in the external file and rest of the information filled from the external file now i will enter the value 1234 for the login id the load case function then searches the file for the value contained in username password the id does not exist and an error message will be pop up login authentication has been done at the end we are going to discuss capy questions as you can see the login screen is in an urdu if you want to change from urdu to english then click options from the menu and then select change languages select english and click on check icon now your question is any english language keep on learning and goodbye